Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad, and it's time to take a look at your upcoming weekend's weather, and it's the first weekend of December. We finished the month of November pretty much on a cold note, but December is going to be a bit different. Looks like we're going to be heading into some warmer air as we head on into the last month of the year, and that'd be December. Now, as far as temperatures are concerned, this is on your Friday. A lot of the country is going to be normal or slightly above normal. You can kind of see that here with these yellows and orange colors. A little bit cooler up in the Great Lakes and certainly out in the Rockies where you're just getting pounded with a lot of snow. Very active weather pattern there for you. But normal high temperatures right here in the Ohio Valley, high temperatures in the 40s and low temperatures down in the lower 30s. So not too bad of a Friday. Saturday, I think, is going to be the best day out of the weekend here in the Midwest. Notice the warmer air starting to expand northward and northeastward a little bit. Still a little cool to the north and certainly there in the Rockies. Now by Sunday... Starting to see a little bit of a change. You've seen a little bit more blues up here in the Great Lakes, and that's going to filter its way down. So the weekend is going to be fairly mild, normal-wise. But then by the beginning of next week, things are going to cool off for the Ohio Valley and potentially the uh, Tennessee Valley as well. As far as precipitation is concerned, your Friday, well, it's going to be fairly active here in the Midwest, Great Lakes, up into the Northeast, certainly down along the Gulf Coast. This is a bigger storm system. Um, over the next couple of days, you could be looking at some flooding, potentially even some more severe weather down in the Southeast. So you're going to have to keep your weather eye out for you there still very active in the Pacific Northwest. Now on Saturday, we dry out a little bit here in the, the Midwest, Ohio Valley. I think that's going to be our best day to put up those Christmas lights if you haven't done them yet. You can see a little bit of snow, though, up in Wisconsin. And we also see, again, those very strong thunderstorms down in the southeast. And I know this weekend now, going into December, there's a lot of holiday parties. So nothing really major to affect your driving conditions throughout most of the country, with the exception of the Pacific Northwest and the Rocky Mountains, where, again, you're getting pounded with those heavy storms and a lot of snow. On Sunday, you have a little bit of snow here up in Wisconsin and maybe Michigan up in the Northeast, but you can see this system starting to weaken a little bit and that's gonna push its way off towards the East, drying out for most of the country with the exception again, for the Pacific Northwest where you're just getting one major storm after another. Now, as far as next week is concerned, this is the National Weather Service six to 10 day outlook. And this is because of El Nino, take a look. The western two-thirds of the country no, uh, above normal or much above normal on temperatures. The eastern third, well, we're just going to be a little bit on the chillier side. Now, with us right here in the Ohio Valley, right on that border, and, and there could be a couple small little bits of energy coming in midweek of next week. And if we're in this cooler air, well, we could be looking at a little bit of snow. I'll have a better idea on if we are going to get a little bit of snow um, on Sunday. But for the most part, if we get it, the roads are fairly warm and it shouldn't cause much of an issue. Now, as far as precipitation is concerned, this is because of El Nino, much above uh, up in the west and much below down here in the western, uh, eastern two-thirds of the country are going to be a little bit below normal, especially down. You're going to be drying out down here in the southeast. Now, this is for next week, but looking further down the road, it looks like that may change a little bit as, again, El Nino affects our weather, and it looks like most of us are going to be above normal for mid-December, and it looks like maybe this area of the country here will be well above normal as far as precipitation. That's your weekend outlook. I'm George, the Weather Dad, and I'll be back on Sunday.